Last week we've discussed a lot of projects on my channel and today I'm going to tell you which ones they are. So we are going to start with Autonolos first because this is actually a project that I've seen many influencers talk about but I've also seen the whales that we track in my free telegram which is linked down below by as well. Now what is Autonolos? Autonolos is an intriguing cryptocurrency project that blends artificial intelligence and blockchain technology to create a decentralized platform for autonomous services. It's launched in 2022 and it aims to provide a unified network of off-chain services including automation, oracles and co-owned AI making it a significant player in the crypto and AI sectors. Now the project uses the OLAS token which is based on the Ethereum blockchain to facilitate access to its network's core functionalities. Now I realize that's a very short summary of the project but if I would discuss all the projects in depth that will take us a very long time let us know in the comment section down below if you would like me to do a dedicated video on this project right moving on to the next one which is net tensor now the opinions are very divided on this project some people think it's a scam other people think it's a pearl we'll have to wait and see what will happen however i did make an in-depth video about this project which you can see on my channel which tells you everything there is to know about this project so moving on to the next one which is swarm markets now if we go to their website they claim to be a gold standard for blockchain based finance now basically swarm markets is a notable project in the crypto space recognized as the world's first regulated decentralized finance platform capable of issuing and trading tokenized real world assets like stocks and bonds alongside cryptocurrencies this platform is designed to cater to both institutional and retail investors allowing them to engage in trading and staking operations with a variety of assets now it's regulation by germany's federal financial supervisory authority so BaFin ensures a level of compliance and security that basically aligns with traditional finance markets standards. Now what they basically do is that they utilize smart contracts to manage transactions and then that facilitates the creation of new trading pairs and integrates seamlessly with the broader blockchain ecosystem. Now one of the interesting features of Swarm Markets is its payment token which provides users with benefits like 50% rebates on trading fees for early adopters uh, which enhances its appeal to users looking to reduce costs. Now additionally what's good to know is that the platform supports a variety of operations including the issuance of security tokens and nfts highlighting its versatility in the digital asset space swarm markets also claims that they bridge the gap between traditional finance or tradfi and DeFi by leveraging the tokenization of real world assets and thus expanding the current DeFi ecosystem significantly now once again if you want to know more about this leave a comment down below and we'll see what we can do the next project we're going to talk about is sofon and they actually have a note sale going on right now yeah, you're probably late when you're watching this video because this video will probably be uploaded on a Wednesday. However, they are an entertainment-focused ecosystem built as a modular roll-up, leveraging CK Sync's hyperchain technology. Now, as a CK Sync hyperchain leveraging the CK stack, Sofon is intended to be tailored for any high throughput applications such as artificial intelligence and gaming applications. Sofon facilitates the connection between developers and users backed by a robust strategic collaboration with ecosystems like CK Sync, Beam, Sentry, and Aether. Now, in an effort to achieve fair and incentivized participation, the intention is to allow node holders to operate the shelf on sequencer and thereby receive sequencer fees. Now, in addition, node operators are intended to be rewarded in the native token of the Sofon network, which is SOF, for contributing to the maintenance and integrity of Sofon's decentralized infrastructure. By leveraging the CK stack, Sofon is positioned to become a leading provider in the entertainment and blockchain space, leveraging the most future-proof Ethereum L2 out there. By participating in Sofon's node sale, purchases can engage with a blockchain network designed to shape the future of entertainment and blockchain technology, ensuring a decentralized, efficient, and user-centric environment. 
So did you buy a note? Let us know as well. I didn't buy a note when I was recording this video. So right now I'm not holding anything, but I'll definitely be checking it out after I finish this video. Then we've got Get Grass. And Get Grass is actually a project that I might do a full video on because it sounds very, very interesting. I'm a little bit on the fence how that would work with your privacy and stuff, but let me tell you some more about this. The project itself is a pioneering platform that basically integrates blockchain with real world data through the innovative use of unused bandwidth from its users. So essentially, Grass leverages these resources to offer decentralized data for AI applications and other private companies functioning as a decentralized Oracle network. So users can contribute their devices or their idols bandwidth and storage participating in what is known a proof of connectivity consensus mechanism we're getting all kinds of proof of something mechanisms, but this setup not only validates data across the network, but it also rewards users with grass tokens. Now, they have been making strides in community growth and technological development with plans to actually launch mobile applications for both Android and iOS. And the project also aims to significantly expand its user base in active nodes, considering that mobile phones typically have higher uptime compared to other devices. Grass also recently, that's a good thing actually, raised 3.5 million in a seed funding round, highlighting the strong investor confidence in its innovative approach to combining AI with blockchain. So to incentivize participation, they've actually implemented a detailed points and referral system and users can earn points by contributing to the network's bandwidth and by referring new users. There are various ranks within the system, each providing different rewards based on the number of points accrued and invite sent. So for those of you who are interested in joining the network, you can start by signing up and downloading the Grass Browser extension, allowing your internet connection to contribute to the network while earning points, which may later convert into Grass tokens once the token launches officially. So you still have a chance to be very, very early with this project. Now, it does kind of sound like a pyramid scheme, you know, like, okay, you get a reward. And then if you get other people to join in, they get a reward and you, uh, you know, you get more rewards. And that's basically how a pyramid it works but i'm very curious to see how this project will develop in the future because there are many people who have way too high internet speeds that they don't actually use so why not use that to earn some of that money back to pay your bills you know then we've got a different project, which is Hydro Online. And this project uh, allows publishers to fully monetize time spent, reducing reliance on ads. Publishers earn more as their audience enjoys a richer, uncluttered online experience. So they basically focus on monetizing website traffic and app users without the reliance on ads. So it allows publishers to earn revenue through its platform by integrating Hydro services, which include different plans like Hydro Online Plus and Pro. So these services enable publishers to earn more by either staking their crypto or cashing out in a cryptocurrency of their choice, facilitating weekly payouts. Now the project also has a utility token called Hydro, which operates on the Ethereum blockchain. And the token is used within the Hydro ecosystem to facilitate transactions and reward users and publishers. Now Hydro's approach to monetization is built around creating a more engaging user experience by reducing ad clutter and incentivizing content engagement. So this not only aims to improve session times, but also enhances overall earnings for content creators and publishers by leveraging the time users spend on the site. So this could be something that is going to be more popular in the future as well, together with Get Grass, where we basically have services of our own that we use, that we don't use fully, and then lend out to others or have others to use it or at least get something back out of it. And the next project is DexCheck.ai. It's an AI boosted analytics for crypto NFT domination. Now this cryptocurrency and NFT analytics platform that uses AI enhanced tools to provide insights and intelligence for traders and investors in the digital asset space aims to revolutionize the way users interact with decentralized exchanges and NFT markets by providing advanced analytics that are typically available only to venture capitalists and professional investors. It also features several tools designed to offer comprehensive analytics, market data, and trend forecasts. And some of its features actually include Checkboard, which is a dashboard providing an overview of market conditions and individual performance metrics. Then they've got a token and NFT analytics. So that's a tool that offers detailed analytics and charting capabilities for tokens and NFTs. 
Then they've got a smart leaderboard tracking major players and their strategies within the crypto space. They've got an insights GPT and AI portfolio. And those AI-driven tools actually offer personalized insights and portfolio managed based on real-time data and user-specific holdings. And DexCheck also focuses on user accessibility and ease of use, ensuring that its platform can be used by both experienced investors and those new to the cryptocurrency world. So by integrating cutting-edge technology technology and user-friendly design they cater to a broad audience democratizing access to crucial information and sophisticated analytics in the crypto and nft domains now the next project i've actually covered before in a different video which is leica ai it's an ai assistant project i'm actually showcasing it in that video as well, I'll be sure to link it in the description so you can have a look for yourself. I'm also mentioning different projects there, but maybe you will find something of your own. Fidium, which is another project where I have a dedicated video on. So to save you guys some time, I'll link that down below as well. This is actually a very great project as far as I'm concerned. I would like to see a little bit more development, but I do know that things like these take a lot of time. One of their main competitors in my eyes would be Scallop, which I made a video about as well. And if I had to choose between the both of them, right now I would go for Scallop. That has to do with the fact that I think that the team of Fidium is not as communicative as I would like them to be. But that's just a personal feeling. I've been holding Fidium since the previous bull market right at the start. That's when I bought Fidium. I've been holding it throughout the bull market. I've been holding it throughout the bear market. I've been holding it throughout the swap. So... I do have faith in this project. But remember, I'm not a registered financial advisor, so do your own research. Always make sure you only use money that you're willing to lose because even though you can gain a lot in crypto, you will most likely lose it all. Now, in the case that you do become filthy rich, there is no question about it that you need a hardware wallet. My personal choice of hardware wallet right now is Decent for the simple fact that they've got one where you can use your fingerprint to sign off on transactions. And they've got the card wallet, which is actually amazing. You can just take it with you in your wallet anywhere you go. And it's very easy to use with the NFC technology in your phone. So be sure to check those out. I've put a link down below for you as well, which will give you a nice big discount on these hardware wallets, right? Let's move on with the video. And then this is one of the projects that is trying to change the world for the better, right? It's Carbify. They are a United Nations certified, so that's a huge deal. ACO2 tokens earn money by planting trees, unique real world assets. Now, find out how our plan to earn works by watching a one-minute video. I'm not going to play it here, but I've made a dedicated video on these guys. The guys behind these are Dutch. I've talked to their CEO. At first, I was a little bit skeptical that I, I did think it was a good project, but I was a little bit skeptical if they were able to pull it off. But they are still around. They were actually, their price went up quite a lot after my video. I'm not saying it's due to my video, but I'm just saying subscribe to my channel so you'll be early with every project that we cover. So go check out that video and let us know if that's something that you're into. Then we've got Destra Network, which I've covered on my channel as well. You kind of see the picture here. Uh, they are a first on-chain one-stop solution for all your deep in cloud and AI computing needs. They've got the Destra GPU Network, Destra Decentralized Cloud Solution, and Destra AI Computing Mechanisms. If these guys are able to pull off what they plan to pull off, this project will be huge they've got the support of alex becker as well who is a big youtuber i'll probably be a big youtuber someday as well if you subscribe to my channel but if they these guys are able to pull this off this project will probably give you a very very surprising result but like i said i'm not a registered financial advisor do your own research be sure to check it out but it basically revolves all around their desync and then everything around it is built around it you know then we're moving on to the next project which is b5 labs now this is a project that i haven't covered on my channel just yet but we did talk about it because this project popped up after i was watching bvm so i made a different video on bitcoin virtual machine i checked out who the holders were i found a whale i checked that whale i saw that that whale was holding BFI Labs as well, which made me research this project. And basically, BFI Labs is driven by the mission to simplify the trading of BRC20 assets and Bitcoin ordinals, aligning with the ethos of blockchain's promise of simplicity and efficiency in financial transactions. 
So they were marked by the recognition of the complexities and challenges that both traders and enthusiasts face in the blockchain and cryptocurrency landscape. They introduced a platform that integrates the robustness of decentralized exchanges with the user-friendly interfaces, which were typically associated with centralized platforms. So this hybrid model is particularly attractive as it combines the trustless, permissionless nature of DeFi with the efficiency and ease of use found in CeFi environment. Now, the platform's standout feature is its zero fees trading structure, which addresses one of the primary pain points for users of blockchain technology, the often high gas fees that can erode investment returns. So by eliminating these costs, b Labs not only enhances user profitability, but also increases accessibility, allowing users from varied economic backgrounds to participate in the crypto economy more freely. And then in addition to the fee elimination, they also facilitate a seamless trading experience across various blockchains, including Ethereum, Binance, and Solana, thereby basically broadening the scope for user engagement and interaction within its ecosystem. So that cross-chain functionality ensures that users can manage their assets across different blockchains without the need for multiple wallets, simplifying the user experience significantly for you. One more thing to mention is that they also place a very strong emphasis on engagement and development from the community. And the platform is not just a technical infrastructure, but also a community-centric ecosystem that encourages participation and feedback from its users. So that approach not only fosters a loyal user base, but also drives continuous improvement and innovation within the platform. So that's basically in short what this project is about. And then we've got OrdiSwap, and that's a dynamic and innovative platform within the cryptocurrency landscape, of course, uh, focusing on enhancing liquidity and trading efficiency on Bitcoin's native layer through the use of the BRC20 standard and ordinals, which is a big narrative right now. This project is designed to provide a decentralized automated market makers infrastructure, which allows for seamless and efficient trading across different blockchain networks, including uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Now, one of the unique aspects of OrdiSwap is its use of off-chain server management, which helps to secure operational security and efficiency while maintaining the decentralized ethos of blockchain technology. This approach allows OrdiSwap to facilitate direct trading on Bitcoin's native layer without the reliance on traditional on-chain smart contracts, thus preserving the security and integrity of the Bitcoin network. They've also introduced its own governance token, which is ORDS, which is used within the ecosystem. And the token has seen various price fluctuations, which basically reflects the typical volatility of cryptocurrency markets. Now, the platform is available for trading on multiple cryptocurrency exchanges and supports various trading pairs, basically enhancing its accessibility to a broader audience within the crypto community. I'm not invested in this. That goes for most of the projects that I cover here on this channel because I want to give my unbiased opinion. The next project that we have is Bitcoin Virtual Machine. And I've made a dedicated video on that as well. I dropped it this week, so be sure to check it out. Let us know if you have and let us know what your thoughts are. And then the other project we've talked about or that was mentioned on my channel is Pal AI. Now, to create and integrate advanced crypto and AI bots, there are no limits showing you or giving you a showcase right here. Yeah. So basically, they are a cutting edge platform that seeks to revolutionize the intersection of artificial intelligence and blockchain technology, providing personalized AI experiences for users. They were launched in 2023 and they utilize a native token called PAL, which operates on the Ethereum blockchain. The project integrates advanced AI technologies such as natural language processing and machine learning with a blockchain to create customizable and scalable AI models like you can see right here. Now, one of their key features is its AI-driven chatbot platform that allows users to customize the data their chatbots learn from and thereby creating a unique knowledge base that can handle cryptocurrency and blockchain-specific information. So that capability makes PAL AI particularly valuable in the fast-paced world of crypto where it can provide tailored support and high-quality responses. Now, additionally, what's good to know is that they extend its functionalities to social media platforms through custom AI bots that are equipped to handle community management and customer support, particularly in crypto-focused environments like Telegram, Discord, and Twitter. So that broad application makes it an essential tool in global crypto markets that operate round the clock. Now, from a financial perspective, their tokens not only enable participation in revenue sharing and buybacks, 
but also plays a crucial role in the governance of the platform, allowing token holders to vote on significant decisions, including new features and partnerships. The project also embraces the principles of decentralized finance by offering staking mechanisms, which a lot of people like, where users can earn interest or gain access to advanced features. If we look at their future developments, they include an AI search engine tailored for cryptocurrency and blockchain queries, enhancing its utility and as a comprehensive AI and blockchain integration platform. Then another one that was discussed on my channel is Paired World, which is a unique platform designed to authenticate and reward real-world human interactions. It's powered by the Paired token and aims to enhance human connectivity and social well-being. Now, the platform features a privacy-preserving framework that secures all social interactions and provides tokens like Sol and Sparks for identity, reputation, and monetization. Its first application, W3Meet, is a mobile dApp that facilitates organizing and attending various events, rewarding users with pair tokens for participation. And then the next project that I came across through a will that we're tracking as well is Compute AI. Now, Compute AI is another GPU-like project, and they focus on artificial intelligence. So it provides a platform for users to participate in various AI-related activities and services, such as decentralized AI marketplaces, AI-powered portfolio management predictions, image generation, pathfinding, and autonomous organizations. Their token, which is the K. AI token is used with the Comput AI ecosystem for various purposes, including governance, where holders can just vote on project development, and actually as a means of payment for services offered on the platform. And like I said, it's basically like a GPU and Desra network kind of project. Uh, the project aims to leverage blockchain technology to enhance and decentralize AI applications, making AI tools and services more accessible and efficient for users across the globe. Right, then, because you can see we've got a few more things to talk about, we've got baked beans. Now, this was something I never heard of before myself, so I had to figure out what this was, but... Basically, what it comes down to is that this is a high-risk investment platform which is built on the Binance Smart Chain and it offers a daily return on investment through its smart contract where users can choose to stake BNB rewards or compound them. Now, the platform is designed to provide a well-structured balance between taxes and rewards, offering up to like 8% daily ROI and 12% referral bonuses and they charge a 3% fee on deposits and withdrawals. They operate on smart contracts that are open source, immutable and audited, which adds a layer of transparency and security to its operations. However, as with all high-risk investments, it's crucial for potential investors to consider the risks involved and only invest what you're willing to lose. I'm not going to touch this for specific reasons because I'm not. this is not something that fits my risk appetite, but I did want to share it here because there are people in our group talking about it. So... Maybe you can get something out of it. The next one, Xali AI, they actually have a node sale going on right now. I've got links in the description, which will give you a nice discount. Those are actually commission links or referral links. So I will get something from them if you are going to use my link. So please know that for transparency purposes. But it's live. It's very early. Be sure to check it out. I've made a dedicated video on it, which I'll link down below as well. Then we've discussed hardware wallets. I've just mentioned one, Decent. So like I said, if you are into crypto and you see your portfolio growing, the first thing you should think about is getting a hardware wallet because they are as cheap as like $50 or something like that. And if you don't use those, your crypto is at a much, much higher risk than when you do use a hardware wallet. So in my opinion, everybody that's in crypto that's not owning a hardware wallet is definitely not doing him or herself a favor. Then the next one, a social platform built on a base, WYDM. It's an emerging social platform that integrates Web3 technologies aiming to redefine social interactions within the cryptocurrency community. Now the platform is in its initial stages of deployment and a roadmap stretches from August 2023 to February 2024, focusing on launching and gaining users for Socify DAP WDYM. Now the platform's introduction involves rolling out a new user interface and enhancing processing speeds to accommodate its growing user base, which is around 3,000 users according to them. And one of their unique aspects is that it incorporates a tokenomic structure that supports functionalities like a city node system where users can purchase and set up WD 
YM City nodes, which play a crucial role in the ecosystem. Now, additionally, WDYM leverages a dual token system comprising WDYM and like a rep WDYM token, each serving distinct purposes within the platform from governance to things like utility applications. So the social application enables users to engage interactively through features like commenting, replying, managing the social profiles, basically all the things you're you're familiar with. And these interactions are streamlined to enhance user experience, making social engagement more intuitive and integrated with the platform's Web3 backbone. Now, furthermore, they also have established a presence on OpenSea, showcasing a collection of items that reflects its integration with the NFT marketplace. And that move not only broadens its ecosystem, but also aligns with the growing trend of blending social media functionalities with cryptocurrency and NFT elements. Then the final project that I want to talk about or that we talked about in our channel is Navy AI. And that project is basically aimed at revolutionizing AI model training and learning by creating the first blockchain layer specifically for these purposes. It emphasizes cost efficiency and elimination of AI bias, offering virtual access to decentralized artificial intelligence models through a network of computing resources. Their infrastructure supports a variety of AI applications and is facilitated by decentralized technology to ensure water accessibility and efficiency. Let me know if this is a project that you would like me to cover on my channel. This was it for this week. Be sure to join our free Telegram and be sure to join our Twitter and I'll see you guys next time. Doei!